opening session of the third Geneva Health Forum and a warm welcome from the organizing committee chair, Professor Louis Lutin. There it is, this third edition of the Geneva Health Forum will be your forum. You as participants, you as chairs and speakers have a unique opportunity to create success through your enthusiasm and expertise. In spite of massive travel disruption caused by the Icelandic volcanic ash, the conference participants were eager to get underway. As none of the original speakers from the first plenary session could now attend, a team from Antwerp's Institute for Tropical Medicines stepped in to examine case studies from the Democratic Republic of Congo via a Skype link from Thailand and from Uganda. Countries in the South, developing countries are really trying their best as a kind of natural experiment to strengthen health systems. I think it's very important that to look at these different countries, how they are doing to strengthen health systems. Okay, so this conference is about bringing together what you learn on a local and on a regional level and finding out what impact that has on global issues. And the organizers feel that by bringing people together like this, that's just what's going to happen. Actually, I'm working for partnerships in health and we do have tomorrow a poster presentation. It's uh, one project on training uh, different professional on HIV treatment, HIV prevention and AIDS care and treatment. I hope to have an opportunity to tell what India is doing in the field of healthcare, particularly in the field of telemedicine and e-health. I'm a specialist in e-health and I've been invited to give a keynote address on the use of mobile phones and I'm trying to learn of course from everybody what is being done in the rest of the world but primarily I would like to advocate the use of mobile phones as a healthcare provider in the developing countries and emerging economies. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a nurse at uh, Geneva Hospital and I am very interested to, to know what happened in the world and I uh, had the, the opportunity to make some mission in Mozambique and Ritray and uh, I'm interested to know what happened there and how we can help, if I can help. 